up YouTube, PJ back with another video for you guys and today I have my buddy Brandon with me with his McLaren 570 GT and it's a pretty fast car. If you haven't watched one of my latest videos, it's of him racing other various cars with a lot of horsepower. You should check that video out. But uh, Brandon, what all you got done to the car so far? So uh, currently we're running the pure stage one turbos, which is basically the same as a stock turbo. They just basically uh, made it a little bit more efficient. Uh, so Pure took the stock turbos, made them a little bit more efficient. We're running a DME tune uh, on the turbos and as well as a sole performance three and a half inch exhaust uh, jet hot coated. Okay. So it should be a little bit faster than stock, correct? Yeah, it's a, it's a lot faster than stock. Um, a little bit was being a little, you know, a little sarcastic, not sarcastic. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little bit faster. <laughs> we had an in canal system on the uh, on the car at first, which the in canal system sounded great. Like I, I love the way the in canal sounded. Being very early and in, in, uh, trying to do performance parts in these cars, we had a company uh, hand build one, and um, unfortunately, it rattled a lot. And um, so, unfortunately, we uh, went away from the in canal system. Which again, I love the way that system sounded. It yeah. just it rattled too much, and there was just too many too many problems with it. So, okay. What exhaust do you have on it? Right now, it's a Soul three and a half inch okay. Soul Performance. They're kind of a newer company. They're uh, they start to build things for exotic cars. They're a good group of guys. They uh they actually did a bit of a time crunch to get ready for the one to go fast event. Um, they hand built an exhaust just for this car. Uh, and jet hot coated it in less than a week uh, so we could install it before the one to go fast event uh, in New Orleans. So the guys over there, good good group of guys, they uh, they busted the to, to get the exhaust done in time for our time crunch, as well as the pure turbo guys. They uh, we went back and forth between the stage two and stage ones in stock, uh, trying to get ready for the one to go fast event. Um, and those guys, you know, did a pretty good turnaround to a few sets of turbos for us. Okay. Well, that's good. It's always nice to meet good people. And, um... That thing sounds good. <laughs> but what made you want to get the McLaren over, like, say, a Lamborghini or a Ferrari or something? Another supercar? Um, so I love Lamborghinis for a while. I, I, I uh... Need for Speed, and the McLaren F1 was just the ultimate car growing up as a kid. And yeah. uh, I loved the center seating position in the F1. I loved everything about it. it. Came with its own tool set. I mean, just all the little things just just were just cool about them. And uh, I never thought I'd actually be able to own one and, and uh, able to go purchase one finally. And so I looked for one that I liked. I looked for something. The 720 was an amazing machine. The 570 uh, was great. But I just love the way the 570 GT looked. The GT is yeah. not the the better of the 570 S or GT. The S is actually better to do performance work to. Mm -hmm. The GT is harder because we have to take this rear window out every time that we oh, work yeah. on it. Um, but I just love the way the car looked. I love the way it looked over a 720. And um, so I, I, you know, we spec one and built one, and uh, and this is this is it now. So this is what uh, it came to. This is what it came to. There you go. <laughs> So I, I love this car over over a 720. Don't get me wrong, a 720 has the newer motor, the new 4.0 versus um, I don't know if you know or not, but every McLaren has had the same motor um, minus the F1. The F1, of course, had the BMW engine. Now uh, all of the McLarens, even the P1, has the same engine. Okay. 650s, 12Cs, all of them have the same engine. Um, so that's something I did not know. Yeah. So we, we knew uh, we knew the I knew. I knew I could make the car go faster. Yeah. I just had to find the car that I liked that just that did it for me. And, and honestly, a P1 is just an amazing looking car. Yeah. Uh, and unfortunately, a P1's two million dollars. So I. Um, and we don't have just two million dollars. There you go. Exactly. Around. Yes. <laughs> and for all the people who don't know the differences between the 570s and 570 GT, um, it's a 
it's mainly, it's a little bit of weight, and the weight is from the back window for one. Um, the steering is about 15 to 20% stiffer, as well as the suspension. That's pretty much uh, the main differences, really. <laughs> Upshift and downshift from the same side. So yes. when you hit hard enough, see how it bounces? Oh, so you gotta yeah. be careful of shifting hard. I know this is one of my favorite cars I've ever ridden in. So what's your overall goal for the car? Like, where are you trying to be with it? So originally, I just wanted to do an exhaust in tune that was it i was like you know the car i don't i don't want to turn it into another race car where i'm broken all the time yeah. you know fighting with the car i'm like i'm gonna go buy this car and i'm just gonna enjoy it that was my plan i'm just gonna make it louder and enjoy it yeah not escalated quickly <laughs> so now it's just you know and to be honest with you i never thought the car would be capable of going out and running with past most car cars i just you know, unless we went something super crazy, because I mean, technically, all we've done to the car to be running with these guys is a tune. We, we yeah. tune the car and exhaust. That, that's it. And, yeah. then, and then now we did the stage one turbos, which still haven't. They're not still not a hundred percent. And then we've got the stage two turbos that we're going to put on it. But I, I think at some point I do need to decide where to drive and draw the line because yeah. I didn't buy this car to be a race car. You know what I'm saying? I didn't yeah. buy it to bought it because I want to drive it every day and enjoy it, you know, and, and, and not have to worry about yes. if you'll be able to drive it the exactly, next day or yeah, not. Exactly, yeah, we'll be broken, you know, I mean, I want to be able to smile, smile every day that I'm driving it to work, not you. Yeah. the exact route I'm trying to go with my Cobra but I like the sports car route more than a dragster route. What's like, that? Like what do you mean? Is like um, just an all around car yeah, versus versus yeah. a single purpose car? Yeah. Yeah, yeah no I I can I can completely understand that. Ooh got PJ boy got the different <laughs> view boy wham 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 what's up PJ what's up what, what's the beef son? What's you the on the beef? mic. I'm on the mic. You on the mic son what's your beef son? What you got? What you think about it? Man, to be honest, this thing, this is this has to be the best car I've ever been in. Like, I really do like it. I like it a lot. Why are you recording me like that? Come on, dog. You were, come on, you record us. Come on, son. <laughs> I wasn't when recording you. Class, you come on. Uh, and what? And I might think about getting the McLaren one day. There you go, son. That's what I'm talking about, yeah. boy. Everybody, I mean, the vlog already knows my dream car is an R8. All right. But like, All right. And I'm, you know what? I didn't like R8. I, I loved R8s. I didn't really like them that much. And my boy gave me his and was like, yo, you know, take it out. It's a six-speed, too. Mm -hmm. And uh, he loaned it to me while I was in Houston. And I drove the car the whole time I was in Houston. And I actually loved the car. But before oh, yeah. that, before that, I was like, eh, an R8 didn't do it. For, like, don't get me wrong, I love the way an R8 looks, you know, yada, yada, yada. Yeah. But after driving one, I would probably buy one. So that's that's a good one. That's a, that's definitely a good one. Yeah. All right. But uh, this, I might have to do some thinking. Some thinking? Yeah, I might have to do some thinking. You might make me do a little thinking. There you go. <laughs> yeah, it was a pleasure you driving me in the car and you teaching me things about it that I haven't known. Okay. I didn't know off of YouTube and off of just seeing them around all right and uh yeah but it was a, a pretty nice experience all right now it's your turn 
It's my turn. Your turn to drive, son. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Come on, man. All right, I'm it's not, PJ's I'm, turn to drive a supercar. PJ wanted to drive one. Bam. <laughs> Bam. Let's do it, PJ. I'm not going to do anything crazy. Oh, you're going to drive it, baby. Come on, let's go. All right, I'm kind of sure. All right, so listen. Mm. You got your upshift mm. and your downshift. You can upshift and downshift downshift from both same side but right now just do it like that okay and then down here you got your drive neutral and reverse okay um your park and brake is over there underneath feel like this okay right press here. it up so hold the brake press that up press it okay there you go all right now uh put it in drive press d there you go now you in first gear baby all right first gear manual yep. Oh, I'm getting butterflies. <laughs> um, definitely getting butterflies. It's just a car, baby. It's just a car. <laughs> it's not my car, though. It's just a car. And my car is... Like, it's just a car. It works just like yours. It's a little bit different. Yeah, very different, actually. Oh, uh, come on. <laughs> okay. Why do I feel like this is my first day driving? <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Turning your blank on. <laughs> oh boy. Oh yeah. Okay. I gotta get back used to the paddles because you know I had a Genesis before my Mustang. Did you? Yeah. And it was paddle shit. But uh I was just used to, I was about to ship. <laughs> <laughs> Go for that clutch and that, <laughs> yeah. that gear, boy. So that's another way, another reason why I'm nervous. What do you normally cruise in? I try and drive this as much as I can. No, the uh, gear, I mean gear, <laughs> sorry about that. Uh, whatever I feel like, if I feel like listening to the exhaust, I downshift, <laughs> homie. That's what I bought it for, to put that <laughs> smile on that face like that. I, so I if noticed. you want to downshift, you downshift, homie. Drive it like if this was yours right now. That's that's uh -huh. what this is about. I'm not I'm not used to it. Like okay, I'll drive it like like on my first day if I was a bicycle car. My first day driving. You be driving it fast, son. You be <laughs> shifting. Doesn't matter, bro. Yep. There you go. Now give it give it a little gas. <laughs> Why'd you shift? Leave what that you baby mean? Why did I RPMs, boy. Cause it's like, come on, you a Mustang boy? I know you know all about that. <laughs> all right, now you... there you go. You got me driving this thing like this. There you go. It's the way it was meant to be driven. <laughs> Why do you and don't you like the R8? Well, I like the R8, like. Okay, so my first dream car, you know, like you said, you were playing Need for Speed. I was playing, uh, what was the name of it? Midnight Club. Midnight Club, all right. Yeah, all right. and my first dream car was a Saline S7. <laughs> okay, all right. And, you know, I felt like that was pretty far-fetched. And at the time, you know, I was a little kid still looking for a dream car or whatever. I don't think and we then, grasped the... The thing about when we were kids, though, we don't grasp the concept of money. We yeah, don't how much something costs. Like the the car thing, you know what I'm saying? We're like, yeah, yeah man, this. And that's actually what happened when I got a little older. I started actually looking at the prices, and I was like, they only made not a lot of these in right? the world, right? right. <laughs> and they're like very expensive. So then, it was one day we were just like driving. My mom was driving, and I was looking out the window, and I saw this Audi and I was like what is that <laughs> and I looked and it was an R8 and ever since then I was just like man I love those cars and it's just been my dream car and one of these days I'm gonna get one like sooner than later more there sooner than go. later I, I plan on it I mean that's all I talk about whenever we talk about cars like me and my buddies and that's just what I want it's and definitely what? obtainable. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's on the cheaper side of supercars for sure. Why wouldn't I want one? I have not found a reason yet. <laughs> no. Would you supercharge or twin turbo it? 
Um, that depends on what engine I got. If I got okay. the V8, uh -huh. it would definitely be turbo. If I got the V10, it would definitely be supercharged. Okay, all right, interesting. And then one thing about the this car, like I do like the turbo school. Like you just hear it. Yeah. It sounds out of it I have to <laughs> I have to it's not mine <laughs> and now I see why when I tell people to drive my car they're like I don't want to do anything because it's not mine because <laughs> it's not often I drive other people's cars boy this boy got like four feet between <laughs> no, I'm only like four feet tall I wanted to get out of it <laughs> way before I did. <laughs> I have the stock brakes on my Cobra still. <laughs> and like, these, those are so bad. These carbon ceramics stop. They get hot, so they stop. Yeah. And it it's like, it's so hard for me to judge because I have to start braking. Get so on it a little bit right here, downshift? To first? Yeah. Don't get on it too hard, but just a little yeah. bit. Get the left lane, just oh. like the middle one right here. The left? Yeah, just the middle right here. One, one over. Just go, hurry up, come on. Go, go, go. Oh, I, the truck was right there. We teaching PJ how to drive today. <laughs> we got PJ, we trying to drive, boy. Yeah, the boy live, boy. He live, baby. You live too, baby. <laughs> What's the album with it? What's the album with it? I love you too. You live, baby. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> PJ Morrison, boy. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you have to put them in. Yeah. What's your YouTube name? PJ Morrison. What? PJ Morrison. PJ Morrison? PJ. Yeah. PJ. PJ, I'm a subscribe. There you go, All brother. Right. Give him a like give and a shout subscribe. Out? Yeah, give him a good. No, give us a shout out. You gonna, gonna be on it? Alright, what's your what's the name? Wilbur. Huh? Wilbur and Brandon. And a shiger. Alright, we got uh, you. We got you. We got you. <laughs> I really do appreciate it. Oh, I was looking at Oh, yeah, we, we, we did. So listen to this. So I saw that car, and I was like, damn, I might go buy that. And uh, my buddy texted me and said, hey, I just bought this. But, oh, wow. Yeah, we did everything to that car. The wheels were silver and stuff. Yeah, that car is clean as hell. Uh, park? No, no, no. There is no park. It's neutral. Put it in neutral. neutral. It'll off neutral from right here. Oh. In. Okay, and then just turn it off. Turn, roll your window up first. Okay, so most supercars... You can pull both levers at the same time and that puts the car in neutral. This one you cannot do that because it is a lever action. You know what yeah. I'm saying? It pivots. Okay, so. yeah. And that's so usually if you get in a, you know, a Gallardo or an R8 or something, you can pull both at the same time and it puts it in neutral. Doesn't okay. work for this one. There you go, you good? Up. Yep, you good. Turn it off. There you go. Oh, we made it. You made it. Like you, I said, I, I'm... I'm very thankful for you letting me drive the car. Very thankful. No problem, dog. Anytime, brother. All right.